where the world where the world really went south. <clears throat> Hitler had, if I remember right, and now they now they see the picture and I remember the details. Hitler had served two terms or four years or some amount of time inside the army or seven years. He had served a fair amount inside of the army or air force or basically the Germany military. He had gone to military academy. He had studied hard. He was. He was a top grade student, I believe, or something like that. He had really tried really hard. And then after he was done with that, I believe, he went in to become a leader. And I was like, because it was a normal thing. If you wanted to become a, one of my leaders, you had to go to school. You had to get trained. You had to be, you know, learn discipline, learn honor, all that other stuff. And then you could become a person of, of, of what's called, of, of uh, you could run the government, basically. You had to earn your right into the government, pretty much. Well, not really earn, you know, I mean, basically you went around, played with tanks and, and basically you just learned like command structures and, and how to run people effectively. You know, you understood respect and honor. And it was just basically like four or five years of proving yourself as a, an honorable and good and good upstanding person. So, so anybody who was a leader of a country was basically someone who was from military academy or someone who had given their thing of service into the greater good of the country of of the of the planet basically so hitler had served like seven years or eight years or something uh, you'd have to look at his military record basically which there would be one is one anyway and that's another thing that that, that they probably want to hide is that hitler had um they want to say syphilis whatever bullshit um anyway hitler has a military record he had a spot on, like perfect military record. He was a great guy. I think he got glowing reviews from all his from all his subordinates. Um, I forget, but it was, but Hitler was it was um, he had a military record and everything, and he looked good, and he had earned his right and and served his his country and his planet with dignity and honor. I'm pretty sure. So anyway, <clears throat> anyway, we get up to Kennedy. Now, Kennedy is a person who is financially broke. He doesn't have a house anymore, or, or, or he barely has a house. They're living like four or five, three or four people to a room. He had 14 kids. He couldn't even clothe them or shoe them. Germany gave him shoes and clothes. And I ordered a 14-room a house built, or at least a bigger house built. Anyway... So anyway, he has lots of brothers. I don't, I don't know what, what happened to his other brothers. He had quite a few children, though. So did the Carter family. The Carter family also had a lot of children. So maybe put him up for adoption or something so it looks like he only had three kids. That's probably it. He probably put him up for adoption and then made, them, made it look like he only had three kids. Anyway, though, they, they're both from very big families. Back in those days, they had big families. So, because there wasn't really birth control and they, they believed they were like, whatever. Anyway, though, they had 14 children, basically, each or something. Or some amount of kids. Way more than three. That's just ridiculous. Um, anyway, so, anyway, uh, Kennedy's family is supposed to live inside the White House, or at least they, they think they're going to live inside the White House for a long time. But then they become like, rulers of America. You know, they they basically take over America pretty pretty quickly and go from being rags to riches, as they say. All of a sudden, they're they're suddenly in power and they have all the money and everything. And the Scottish people are like, "What the f? They stole our factories. They stole our grocery stores, or something like that." Or and there's a ri uh, a TV station in in uh, in in what's it called in um, in um, in Germany. That is that has an attack by somebody, and they kill the, the the owner of the radio station or the TV station, and suddenly it's bought or taken over by the by, by the state or the city. So anyway, Carter is the same way. He he loses his house to to a loan. He can't even you know he can't farm. There's no water or or something. He they they can't farm peanuts worth anything. Or they can't farm anything, so someone gives them a peanut crop, and they barely do that. Anyway, he loses his farm, I guess because they're not working it or so. I don't really know. But basically, he ends up doing eminent domain, stating the, the hunger shortage 
of of the yeah you know it's it's like the it's the depression and it's the hunger shortage and and so he does eminent domain and and takes his neighbor's farm or neighbor's farms around the area and ends up with three farms or something like that and then all of a sudden he's the number one peanut grower and um and so and then there's and then there's nixon another broke person basically um Anyway, there's quite a few different little broke people, basically, um, pretty much. And all of a sudden, and, and what their sons are doing is their sons are trying to tweak the laws. They're trying to adjust the laws. They can't adjust the laws in America because everyone knows that I named America. Although not everyone knows that I had, had such a big presence in Germany, Scotland, Russia, Japan. I went to all other countries and even started the Democratic and Republican parties. They started somewhere over there in one of the other countries. They were just a small little group trying to run or create a, a, a government. But it's like, well, I already created it. So, you know, I mean, I was already a great, massive, huge ruler. But they start their little creation, whatever, government, or how to run a, or how to make a government command structure of their own, basically, thing. Anyway, they're trying to do this overlay of them on me or something like that, or them on the world. And it's like, uh... I already got three colleges that, 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 that worked it out. You don't have to do your own little system. It's Democrat or Republican. It's like, um, how about just people trying to live life? And you're getting in the way. Um, anyway, though, so they try and do this thing back then. And um, and like I say, I've been around since the Stone Age. You know, basically this massive ruler, Lucifer Star, creator to humanity. And, 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 and I actually come from the insect... I'm actually a, a, a leader from, from a different race, and then I create humans, and I'm leading humans because it's like, yeah, cool, no problem, we're all just living life, you know, whatever, you know, and, I, and I'm just like, okay, invent, do this, do that, blah, blah, and it's all cool, right? And then we, like, like I say, you know, normally people have to go into my military, learn up, learn, learn about orders, how to, how to go, how to, how to order troops around, all that stuff, you know, how to, how command structures work and everything. And all of a sudden Kennedy, which is a TV family or whatever, I'm like, well, let's put them on TV. You know, I wanted to just like, had to show something and I was trying to do like the reality TV thing. Anyway, though, he uses it to become president. The nation loves him, all that. I'm like, oh, well, if America really loves him, then I guess we can go ahead and let him try being a president for a year. So... Anyway, though, and then I'm like, well, I guess they can live in the White House or something because it's a big house and they have a lot of kids or something like that. And I'm like, eh, I guess, I don't know, or some other house, you know, maybe we'll move them. You know, but all of a sudden they want to be rulers of the earth and they want and they turn the White House into the basically where the president stays. But guess what? I have rules for the president and you can't do lifetime presidency in my house on my planet. And then they're doing this also to try and kill me as well. Like I say, I want to do a showroom. I'm doing this whole civilization thing. I'm doing all this stuff. And all of a sudden, this normal citizen, this normal poor person, basically is like trying to take over the world. And it's like, ah, uh, ha. Huh. And they have a problem because they know I know that they're poor. And they know that I know what they've been doing in China and all the other countries. They know, they know that the earth was being documented extensively long before they were born. There is pictures and records and even satellites before Kennedy. Like I say, there was a Russian satellite or Russian people looking down. Russia was looking down. We were doing this huge thing where the Russians are looking down and everything on the earth, watching the earth from space. It had to be a person, whatever. And Germany was actually creating a camera so we could record it. So anyway, me and them are doing this huge, me and the rest, the, 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 the human race, China, Japan, Orientals, Mexicans, even kind of Latinos, I guess, um, and Mexicans, why not? I mean, they're, they're, they're cool too. They're humans. So even the black people, they're humans too. So we're all doing this, this whole thing together where education, learning, life, you know, this thing, eventually go to space, ascendance, you know higher education levels and suddenly someone tries to kill me and it's like huh really the life form that created 
the human race, and someone's trying to kill me. Someone tries to kill me. Right? And deny me. It's like, well, that's great, but facts are facts. <laughs>